All right. So this next question is uh, from acyl halides, aromatic compounds. Right. This is uh, March 19, paper 42. So this is a synthesis question. Right. Let's start uh, with this question. So they're saying that ethane dioil chloride is a useful reagent in organic synthesis. It can be made from compound A in one step. So this is ethane dioil dichloride right and this is made from compound a in a one step reaction so suggest the identity of compound a by drawing its structure in the box so the identity of the structure of compound a like it would be some carboxylic acids because acyl halides are prepared from carboxylic acids so we can draw the structure of carboxylic acid that this is ethane dioic acid right so this is uh, the structure of the reactant from which ethane dioil dichloride will form next part is uh, state the reagents and conditions needed to convert a into ethane dioil dichloride so carboxylic acids can be converted into acyl halides by reacting them with either pcl5 or socl2 so these two reagents will act under normal conditions right uh, no conditions are required all right now the next part is ethane dioil dichloride is used in the following synthesis of compound q it is used in it is used in a one to one stoichiometric ratio one to one stoichiometric ratio with b in step two so ethane dioil chloride is used in the following synthesis of compound q so basically this is the synthesis of compound q starting from benzene right this is the structure of benzene we have here and from benzene we are making q so there are several reactions involved and they are saying that uh, ethane dioil dichloride this is ethane dioil dichloride reacts with compound b in a one to one ratio one to one ratio right so the question is suggest the identities of the compound b to e by drawing their structure in the boxes right so we have to draw the structure of all the uh, substances that are being formed in this reaction so let's look at the reaction number one step one so in step one benzene is being converted into chlorobenzene so that means it is a substitution reaction one of the hydrogen would be replaced by cl so this one is simple benzene and one of the hydrogen will be replaced by cl so this would be the structure of compound b and if we look at the step three from step three we are getting compound d uh, through which we get phenylamine and there is only way we can get benzene uh, phenylamine from benzene first we convert benzene into nitrobenzene by substitution reaction and then nitrobenzene converts into phenylamine by reduction so that means d is nitrobenzene right d is nitrobenzene all right next is uh, step two in step two ethane dioil dichloride is reacting with compound b in a one to one reaction so if i draw the structure of ethane dioil dichloride this is the structure of ethane dioil dichloride right and this is reacting with chlorobenzene right and if you look at the like basically what happens in this reaction is uh, this si substitution reaction would occur right substitution reaction would occur uh, cl would be lost from this side and one of the hydrogen would be lost cl is a 2 4 director chlorine or halogens are 2 4 directors so they direct the incoming electrophile on the uh, 2 and 4 positions so either this incoming electrophile when once cl is lost this carbon this carbonyl carbon would gain a positive charge so this is our electrophile this is the electrophile so now this electrophile is going to attach on the benzene ring and we have to decide whether it will attach to carbon number two or carbon number four so this we can find out by looking at the structure of q like if you look at the structure of q basically this is our chlorobenzene compound b right and some reactions are involved like after step two 
uh, we have this is step five and after step five we get step six so that means whatever these uh, the product of uh, step two this has been converted into some other compounds as well so but we can look at this uh, structure of q and we can deduce that the ethane dioil dichloride is going to attach on carbon number one because if this is compound b so this is carbon number one carbon number two carbon number three and carbon number four so the other group is attached on carbon number four so that means in uh, step two uh, the electrophile the incoming electrophile is going to attach on carbon number four so that means the structure of the uh, compound that we get from this reaction would be let's say if this is our chlorine so one two three four so on carbon number four we get the c double bond o the c double bond o and c double bond o cl so this would be the structure of compound c so i hope everyone is now clear about the structure of c so let's draw the structure of c here so we have this benzene ring right and this is cl so carbon number one two three four so on fourth carbon we have c double bond o c double bond o cl right and if you follow the molecular formula so the number of carbon atoms six carbons in the ring seven eight total eight carbon atoms four hydrogens four hydrogen means one one two three four these are four hydrogens and then two oxygen one two two oxygen and two chlorine cl cl so this is the structure of compound c all right now in the next step c is reacting with uh, phenylamine right c is reacting with phenylamine and we are getting the structure compound e now there are eight carbon atoms in compound c and six carbon atoms in compound uh, in phenylamine so in the final product we have 14 carbon atoms right 14 carbon atoms so what happens in this reaction is this is the structure of c and this is the structure of phenylamine so here condensation reaction would occur condensation reaction would occur the phenylamine would lose one of its hydrogen and from this side this cl would be lost so basically this carbon is going to make a bond with this nitrogen so this amide group would be formed right amide group would be formed so the structure would be let's draw the structure of this compound e so this is benzene c double bond sorry cl okay i'm going to draw it just like q okay let's erase it and draw it like q so this is the structure of chlorobenzene cl then on fourth carbon one two three four this is the fourth carbon on fourth carbon we have c double bond o the c double bond o then c double bond o then cl is lost cl is lost and this carbon is going to make bond with this nitrogen from this nitrogen hydrogen would be lost so we have n H and benzene ring. So this is the structure of compound E. No carbon is lost, right? No carbon is lost, and we have an H and a Cl is lost in the reaction. So you can see now we are left with only one Cl. This is one Cl, and this is the final product. Two oxygen atoms, two oxygens. If you count the carbon atoms, there would be fourteen carbon atoms. Eight on this side and six on this side so 14 carbon atoms 10 hydrogens so four hydrogens on this side of the structure and five six seven eight nine ten right so total 10 hydrogens so c14 h10 no2 cl so this would be the structure of compound e this is basically step five is a condensation reaction so hcl is lost now in the next step uh, we are getting Q. Let me first erase it. All right. So if uh, we look at the structure of E and Q, what is the difference? We have the same benzene ring on this side, the same benzene ring on this side. We have this NH group 
and both the carbonyl groups are lost both the carbonyl groups are lost and that means this is reduction right this is reduction because this carbon this is basically ketone here this is ketone this is ketone and instead of that ketone now we have this oh group right so that means reduction has been happened and this is amide amide and amide is being converted into amine this is now amine so this step six is basically reduction i hope you are getting this reaction all right so ketone is being reduced into secondary alcohol and amide is being reduced into in this reaction step six what has happened is that ketone is converted into secondary alcohol and amide is converted into amine all right now this is we have drawn all the structures now the next part is state the reagents and conditions for the following steps step one step one what was happening step one was electrophilic substitution so we are re replacing the hydrogen with cl so that means this would be chlorine reacting in the presence of a lewis acid alcl3 step 3 step 3 is i think nitration of benzene ring yes it is nitration so concentrated nitric acid would be the source of electrophile reacting in the presence of h2so4 which act as catalyst or lewis acid step 4 step 4 is reduction of uh, nitrobenzene into phenylamine so nitrobenzene reduction of nitrobenzene into phenylamine the reducing agent we use is 10 plus concentrated hcl this you have to remember that nitrobenzene for the reduction of nitrobenzene into phenylamine we use 10 plus hcl then step 6 is again reduction which i have just described you this is again reduction and this is reduction of uh, amide so for the reduction of amide into amine we need a strong reducing agent so that must be lialh4 all right now the next part of this question is in the amount if the amount of ethane dioil dichloride used in step 2 is decreased another compound is formed in step 2 with the molecular formula c14h8o2cl2 suggest the structure of this compound all right so they are saying that if we reduce the concentration or the amount of ethane dioil dichloride uh, another compound would form and the molecular formula of that compound is c14 h8 c14 h8 o2 cl2 o2 cl2 on right so basically what happens is uh, we were getting this structure c8 and now they are saying that instead of the c8 we get c14 so that means increase of six carbon atoms and six carbon atoms that means we are introducing a ring so if we have this c ethane dioil dichloride uh, in limited amount then the product of this step 2 the product of step 2 this is the product of step 2 it is if this is the limiting amount if this is limiting reagent that means the other reactant chlorobenzene would be in excess and if chlorobenzene would be in excess then that means that another substitution is going to happen like in the first substitution what happens is that one of the hydrogen from this this phenyl this chlorobenzene it loses one of its hydrogen uh, 1 2 3 4 this fourth carbon loses its hydrogen and we have this structure now if we have chlorobenzene in excess so what happens is that the product of this step will again going to react with another chlorobenzene and when it reacts with another chlorobenzene that another substitution would happen and this time this cl or uh, we can say that this acyl part will act as an electrophile this cl would lost and this would act as an electrophile and the product that we get is c14 this is what we would get cl 1 2 3 4 so this was c double bond o and now this c double bond o and this cl would be lost and this carbon is now directly attached to the 
ring on fourth carbon atom and one two three four this is the structure of cl so now if you count the carbon atoms so we have six and six six carbons here six carbon here six and six twelve thirteen fourteen fourteen carbon atoms eight hydrogens one two three four five six seven eight eight hydrogens two oxygens one two and two cl one and two cl so this is the structure of compound this is the structure that we could that we would get so basically cl c double bond o c double bond o cl this would be the structure all right identify all the steps in the synthesis of q from benzene that are electrophilic substitution reactions so electrophilic substitution reactions step 1 is electrophilic substitution step 3 is electrophilic substitution and step 2 is again electrophilic substitution all right so step 1 step 2 and step 3 these are the three uh, electrophilic substitution reactions all right i forgot to write the conditions for the reactions uh, for the step 1 we have to heat as well right and for step 3 when we are reacting with the concentrated nitric acid and sulfuric acid temperature must be around 60 degrees centigrade right and for step 4 heat and reflux you can just simply say heat and reflux so these are the conditions and step 6 uh, this would act uh, and under normal conditions all right now the next part of this question and the last part of this question is draw structure of the compounds form when q is treated with the following reagents if there is no reaction write no reaction in the box so this is q and it is reacting with uh, dichromate ions mild oxidizing agent so it will uh, oxidize secondary alcohol into ketone so we get the structure that we get is cl this carbon would be oxidized and NH so this would be the structure secondary alcohol would be oxidized into ketone then heat with aqueous NaOH aqueous NaOH uh, all right now we have uh, the NaOH can only react with um, alkyl halides not with acyl halides this is acyl halide this is much more stable than alkyl halide so that means no reaction reaction with bromine all right bromine this we have now two rings right and chlorine is a deactivator so it deactivates the ring so further substitution cannot happen but amine is an activator of the ring so it activates the ring so that means on this ring further substitution would occur so the product that we get is NH and it would substitute by bromine on 2, 4 and 6 all the three positions would be occupied as amine is a ring activator then with hcl aqueous at room temperature this amine group would act as an electron pair donor so it donates its electron and it gains a proton so an acid base reaction would occur and the product that we get is nh Two, nitrogen gains a positive charge right plus we have a Cl minus so this would be the structure as well all right so this is the end of this question